ever wondered how much your past experiences shape your present relationships? It might surprise you to know they play an enormous role. If we turn the pages of our past, especially to our childhood, we'd see a blueprint of our adult love styles. Our first relationships, the ones we share with our caregivers, are more influential than we often realize. These relationships are our first experiences with love and attachment. They teach us what to anticipate from others, set our expectations and shape our emotional responses. It's a bit like learning a dance, where our caregivers lead and we follow. Over time, this dance becomes ingrained, the steps familiar. As we grow older, these early relationships act as a mirror, reflecting in our adult love life. They become a sort of template, influencing who we choose as partners, how we behave with them and even how we deal with conflict. So you see, childhood experiences can leave a lasting impact but how exactly does this impact show up in our adult love lives? Enter attachment theory, a psychological model that explains just that. This theory posits that the bonds we form as children with our primary caregivers play a significant role in shaping our behaviors and expectations in adult romantic relationships. Secure attachments in childhood often lead to a healthy and balanced approach to love in adulthood. On the other hand, insecure attachments can result in three different attachment styles anxious, avoidant, and disorganized. Anxious individuals often fear rejection and crave reassurance from their partners. Avoidant individuals tend to steer clear of closeness and emotional intimacy, while those with a disorganized attachment style display a mixture of anxious and avoidant behaviors, finding it difficult to trust and depend on others. Each style is a different manifestation of how early experiences can shape our relational dynamics. According to attachment theory, our early experiences with caregivers can set a pattern for how we approach relationships in adulthood. But don't just take our word for it. There's plenty of research to back up these ideas. In the world of psychology, a multitude of studies have shed light on this fascinating connection between our childhood experiences and adult love styles. One such study conducted at the University of Minnesota found that children with secure attachments were more likely to have satisfying and stable relationships in adulthood. These securely attached children, who felt loved and understood in their early years, were better able to express their feelings and needs in their adult relationships. Another compelling piece of research from the University of Illinois showed that people who had experienced neglect or abuse in their childhood were more likely to struggle with issues of trust and intimacy in their adult relationships. In a similar vein, a study from the University of Cambridge found that children who experienced inconsistent parenting were more likely to exhibit anxious attachment styles in their adult relationships. These studies demonstrate that our childhood experiences aren't just memories, they are predictors of how we love and who we become as adults. So what does all this mean for you and your relationships? Let's take a moment to reflect on what we've unpacked. We've delved into the profound impact of our past, exploring the unseen threads that link our childhood experiences to our present relationships. We've seen how patterns of love and attachment formed in our early years can shape our romantic styles in adulthood. We journeyed through the realm of attachment theory, discovering how it illuminates the way we give and receive love. We've learned about the secure, anxious, and avoidant love styles, each with its unique characteristics and challenges. And we didn't just rely on theories. We backed it up with concrete evidence from psychological studies, which reinforced the idea that our past shapes our present, especially when it comes to love and relationships. I encourage you to reflect on your own experiences to consider your own love style. What patterns do you see? Remember, understanding our past can help us navigate our present and shape a healthier, happier future.